everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll be solving problems from the chapter kinematics and the difficulty level of the problem should be somewhere in between easy and moderate i mean some questions are easier and some are moderate so you guys do solve along with me and so let's begin with problem number one so in this question we have been given a relation between the velocity and the displacement of the particle so we have to find its acceleration and initial velocity so uh, I mean in order to find the initial velocity all we have to do is set the displacement equal to zero right because at the start of motion displacement is zero anyway the position initial position vector can be some finite quantity depending on the coordinate system but initial displacement is always zero so like if we talk about displacement time graph doesn't matter how it is it's always going to start from the origin but whereas if it's the position time graph, it can start from somewhere above as well. So if we set x equals zero, we'll get the initial value to be three meters per second. As the velocity is given to be a function uh, of the displacement, we can find the acceleration using the formula v dv upon dx. So v is going to be square root of two x plus nine and dv by dx is going to be, so the acceleration will come out to be one meters per second square. So option A is the correct answer. So option A would be the correct answer in this case. So moving on to problem number two. Uh, in this question, it's given that the bird flies for four seconds and its velocity as a function of time is given. So we have to find the distance it travels. So if we plot the velocity versus time graph, now as the curve is going to be modulus of t minus two, so the graph of mod of t minus two looks something like this, okay, where this is t equal to two seconds. So now we have to find the area under this curve till t equal to four seconds. Okay, so the area of this small, tr this triangle, if you put t equal to zero in this, you'll get velocity as two meters per second. So the height of this triangle is two, the distance traveled will be equal to the area of this triangle plus the area of this triangle. Now both as both the triangles are similar, it'll be two times half bh, and that comes out to be four meters. So option B will be the answer. In this problem, the uh, a particle is given to be moving with uniform speed. It's moving along the parabolic path y equal to kx squared. So let's try to plot this path. So the graph for this curve will look something like this. And this is the equation of the trajectory that the particle will follow. So and now it's also given that the speed is uniform and it's equal to v. So that which means the tangential acceleration in this case would be zero. And there will only be one component of the acceleration and that's going to be the normal component. And as we have to find the acceleration at x equals zero, it will be the normal component of acceleration at x equals zero. And this we can just find by using the formula v squared divided by the radius of curvature at x equals zero. So we have to determine, if we determine the radius of curvature uh, at the origin, then we can get the acceleration, right? So now, this is the formula for finding the radius of curvature at any particular point in a curve. So now as y equals kx squared, y dash would be equal to 2kx and y double dash would be equal to 2k. As we want the acceleration at the origin, uh, so the derivative at that point would become zero. So this would simply be one upon the double derivative and which, which is a constant one upon 2k. Okay, so now the radius of curvature at the origin is, go is equal to one upon two k. So we can write the acceleration at the point zero comma zero is equal to two k v square, which would be option A in this question. Moving on to problem number four. So we have a balloon in this problem and its ascent rate is constant. Okay, uh, its ascent velocity is given to be constant and equal to v naught. Now it's given that due to the wind, the balloon gathers a horizontal component of velocity. So it also has some or has a horizontal component of velocity vx, which is given to be equal to ay, where y is the height of ascent. So if the balloon is at some height y from the ground, then its horizontal velocity is given to be ay. So we have to find the horizontal drift of the balloon as a function of y. Now, first of all, dy by dt, which is essentially just the um, rate of ascent, it is given to be constant and equal to v0. So if you integrate on both sides, you'll get the as in height to be equal to v naught multiplied by t. Uh, the dx by dt, just the basically the displacement towards the right direction is given to be a multiplied by y and y we can borrow from the above equation to be v naught t. And from here, we'll get the value of dx to be a v naught. Now if I integrate it at t equal to zero, uh, the drift was zero and at t equal to general time, 
let's say it is x. So from here, we'll get the drift. Now we need the answer in terms of y. So we'll use equation one once more. The answer as a y square upon 2v naught, which is option number a. Moving on to problem number five. So we, uh, it's given that the projectile is projected at an angle alpha with the initial velocity u, the time t at which the horizontal component will be equal to the vertical component. So the projectile is projected at an angle alpha to the initial direction with a speed u and we need to find the time at which the at which vx and vy becomes equal. If vy and vx are equal then this then the angle it makes with the horizontal is going to be 45 degrees right. So vx and vx is always constant right it is equal to u cos alpha and vy is going to be so we are going to do a simple vector addition so u this angle is 45 degrees and the in the x velocity is going to be always constant and it is equal to u cos alpha but the y velocity is going to change right so the y component will be initial velo y velocity which is u sin alpha minus gt so from here uh, as the as this angle is 45 degrees you can find tan alpha tan 45 from this triangle so u sin alpha would be so from here gt would be equal to u sin alpha minus u cos alpha and from here you'll get the time to be so the answer will be option c a particle is projected vertically upwards and it attains maximum height h if the ratio of times to attain some h which is smaller than capital h and to attain h is one by three okay so this particle is projected upwards let's say some velocity u and it attains a maximum height of capital h we can use the kinematic equation v equals u plus gt um, and set v equal to zero and from here the time it takes to reach maximum height is going to be u by g okay so and the time it takes to reach small h height given to be equal to u divided by 3g and in that time if we use s equals ut plus half at squared we can write h equals u multiplied by time is going to be u divided by 3g so this would be 5 by 18 u square divided by g now the maximum height capital h is given by u square by 2g so from here, if you compare it, you'll get small h to be 5h by 9. So the answer is going to be option B. So in this problem, uh, the radius vector A relative to the origin is given as R vector. So R vector is given to be. So we are we have we are required to find the so we have to find the equation of the points trajectory. So let's say its x coordinate is x and let's say its y coordinate is going to be y. So we are required to find y as a function of x. X is going to be equal to 80. So x is going to vary as 80 and y is going to vary as minus bt squared. From equation number one, t would be x by a and all we have to do is substitute it in this equation. So we'll get y equals minus bx squared upon a squared. So option b would be the answer. So we are given v square versus x graph. So the slope of this curve is going to be d of v square over dx. If you try to solve it, you'll get 2v dv by now v dv by dx for a particle undergoing straight line motion we can simply write it as a so the slope of this curve is essentially just twice the acceleration of the particle so from zero to one second uh, the part uh, the particle's acceleration would be zero and from one second to two second the slope of this straight line is going to be y by x which would be two divided by one so from t equals one second to two seconds the slope that is 2a equals 2 which implies the acceleration is going to be 1 meters per second squared and it will be in the positive direction since the slope came out to be positive. So option B is the answer for this question. In this problem we are given a projectile um, along the inclined plane and we have to find the time of its flight. So we can do this problem in a slightly different way. The equation of trajectory for this projectile would be y equals x tan theta and here theta is 75 so it will be tan 75 into times 1 minus x divided by the range of the projectile. Now this equation represents this projectile and the equation of the straight line OP is going to be y equals x. If we solve both of these, one answer should be P and one answer should be O. So now if we solve both of these curves together, then I can say x equals x tan 75, 1 minus x by r. Now we can cancel out both of these x's as we know x is equal to 0 is not the solution we want. So from here, we'll get the value of x to be 1 minus cot 75 times the range of the projectile. Now, so as we have, have the displacement of the projectile in the x direction, and we know the velocity along the x direction is constant, and it is equal to 
u cos 75 degrees. We can say that time, time taken to reach point P will be x upon vx. Now the range of this projectile, I can write it as vx multiplied by the total time of flight of the projectile. And if I divide it with vx, these two cancels out. So if I simplify this expression a bit further, so we'll get sine 75 minus cos 75 and the time of flight will be 2uy divided by g. So the sine 75 would get cancelled, the 10 would get cancelled out and you'll get the answer as 2. 75 we can write it as 30 plus 45. So now as you can see this term gets cancelled out and we'll get the answer as root 2 seconds. This should be option. So that was it for this video guys. So if you want more of these please like and subscribe and do comment down below how many of these questions you got correct and thanks for watching.